Good morning everybody, welcome to a new episode. Today is the day we leave the van here in Romania and we fly to Nepal. Last night was the last sleep in our van for the next nine and a half weeks. I miss La Bamba, but I'm feeling very excited. I've been waiting for Tom to wake up. It's quite, it's about half eight now. We didn't go to bed till about two last night. So Tom is quite tired, but I'm just buzzed on the energy. I'm ready to go to Nepal. I got my morning coffee, buddy. Yeah. Thankfully, she's supplied me with coffee for the last week, <laughs> every morning. I mean, you have looked after us for the last week. The only reason you haven't packed is because of us. <laughs> <laughs> Nepal. Give me an end. Give me an E. If you pee, give me an L. Nepal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm about to go in. Right. The heavens have opened. It is so rainy and stormy and light and everywhere. Today is the day we're catching the flight to Nepal. It's at about midnight. We need to pack. We haven't really done any preparation. We are staying on a campsite at the moment so that we can do our laundry, empty the toilet, get the van really clean, ready to leave it for about 10 weeks while we go tracking around the pool. <laughs> it's not ideal weather conditions. <laughs> it is so rainy and there's lightning everywhere. We did a couple of loads of washing last night. It started raining. I was hoping to hang out this morning, but no joy. Thunderstorms are here, so we're gonna have to do the classic van situation again, hang up the washing. Just haven't had any time to mentally prepare or physically prepare Nepal. It's 11.30, we are flying from Bucharest airport at midnight. We're two and a half hours away from the airport and we've got a list of things to do. Now we can finally start packing. It's a bit ridiculous that we're packing like the afternoon of the time we're leaving for the airport, but that's how it is and that's what we're doing. We're gonna try and bring as little as possible, but we've got quite a lot of stuff because we're making vlogs. So we've got quite a lot of electronics we have to fit in as well. I'm thinking four pairs of pants, including the one I'm wearing. So one, four. two, three, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking seven. Why? Give these a rinse in a sink. You're gonna have seven days worth of dirty underpants in your mm -hmm. bag. Gross. Clothes done, we've gone super minimal. Now for the electronics. We've just didn't, done the final clean of the Bamba's kitchen, so we don't really want to use it. And um, Keely's cooked us lunch, so let's go eat lunch. You sweet angel. Oh, Tom, take so the big ones. Good. You've got the biggest, the big dare head <laughs> Keith <laughs> <laughs> reminded us that we need to get travel insurance, so that's another thing to add to our list. I'm stressing Tom out mega today. It's going to be calm and like go through and be like, right, we pack our socks, done, pack it, and like just work through it. <coughs> and you're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> explosion of energy. <sighs> Let's get coffee, and then you'll. Oh, I don't know if I need that. that. No, not you. You're getting tea. Have tea. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you'll dry in the next two and a half hours. <laughs> I mean, you look good. Fine. Right, let me see a full 360 spin, please. Come on, let's hey. see. <laughs> we really need to start making a move, but we're saying goodbye to these guys. It's been so much fun. It's been an unusual week. I would have been disappointed if it was anything less. <laughs> kind of, it's funny when you've got like all this stress, but also like we've had so much good laughter. times as well, yeah. and laughter as well. So it's like our bodies oh, don't yeah. know what to think. Like these two, honestly, I've, they are the most kind-hearted, <laughs> lovely, fun, <laughs> Funny yeah. people who are so, so genuine, like because yeah, this is all put on for camera, but they are, they're, they're actually like genuine. <laughs> we are just about to set off for the airport, and the campsite owner here has kindly come over with some grappa, so we're gonna have a little drink. Unfortunately, Tom can't because he's driving. Good luck. Good luck. Very good, very good. We were just about to leave and Keely offered to braid my hair. I'm not going to turn that offer down. And I'm currently taking on the no shampoo challenge. When me and Keely were at the roadside, we broke down on a mountain road. We decided to dunk our heads in a fountain in the middle of nowhere. And Keely was like, 
I don't use shampoo. And I was like, hey girl, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I want to do that too. Okay, I've decided now. I'm committing to it on camera. I'm a no pooer. <laughs> And I don't mean the number two. So get ready for greasy me in the videos <laughs> for the next nine weeks. I didn't want to leave you guys. I'm putting it off. Oh. Yeah. I think we should have a group hug before yeah. we do Yay. Okay, bye. 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 Come on, YouTube, join in. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Don't pass it. Love you, guys. Love you, guys. Love you guys. They're going to miss us so much. <laughs> Oi, that's my camera. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Love you. Bye. We have a two and a half hour drive now to our car park. I'll catch you there. Oh, we are here at the airport car parking. We need to get our backpacks on and go to the airport. All our washing from the campsite is still up. We're just going to leave it up. With this last week, we really haven't had any time to plan anything, to get things ready. So it's been a little bit last minute, a bit rushed, but we're on track, we're on route. We get a free shuttle from here to the airport, which is great. Bye, La Bamba. Got our bags, leaving the shuttle bus. This so is this it, we're, we're just wearing our bags <laughs> we're now. now. No we more van, crazy. We've, I've just spent up our last bit of lay. Exactly, got veggie baguettes and two bananas. We've had to get a coffee because we're exhausted. It's been a few late nights with Philly and Keely drinking that plum brandy um, and just a crazy week in general. On the drive over here, we, we did buy travel insurance. Um, so don't worry, we didn't forget. We did actually have to pay quite a lot for the insurance. I think it ended up being about 430 pounds because we had to pay for the extreme <laughs> coverage because we're going to be doing hiking over 4,800 meters. Um, so I'm not really sure what to expect there. I think it's going to be pretty tough. Inside of our big backpacks, we've both actually got smaller bags which we're going to use as hand luggage. My one's basically got all the electronics in. We're going to go drop our bags off and we can go through security. It's definitely, but I don't know if we're in the wrong airport. Where we can't we? see our departure on the screen. What's the name of this airport? Opotani. OTP, yeah, that's what we're flying from. Oh my God. Bucharest. Definitely in Bucharest, aren't we? No, there's only one airport. I'm gonna go ask for the information. <sighs> Getting pretty nervous now because there's no flight for Dubai on the board. I don't really understand where we need to be. Oh my gosh, false alarm. <laughs> oh, I'm so worried. The information desk just told us that it's just popped up on the board. The board was showing flights at six o'clock tomorrow morning and our one just wasn't there yeah. but then it appeared late which is very oh scary i was worried because it was me Nervous. that put the flights I, I, I was so worried that i made a big boo-boo checking desk is open so let's go check 70, our bags in 79 to 80. Yeah, yeah. oh what a relief i was getting panicky there because we've just been chilling in this airport for two hours imagine if we were in the wrong place we wouldn't put it past us it doesn't feel real like i cannot believe we're doing this it's just so spur of the moment last minute <laughs> But we are doing it. Romania's been amazing. We've gone from getting rid of all of our stuff in the van to just living out of a backpack. And now we're going to be leaving these and just living out of a smaller backpack. So it's going to be really weird. I feel like we're missing something. Of the brain cell. Woo, we all checked in. Katmandu, here we come. So travel has definitely been a lot harder since Brexit. We've had to be a bit more planned out of what we're doing. But I've got to say, I do like getting stamps in the passport again. It is really fun. We have realised, me and Tom have been together for I think almost five years and a bit when we were 18 too and we have never got a flight together before. Yeah, which is really unusual because we, travel. we I do a lot of travelling. It's really cool. Exciting. I'm really excited to be travelling with you. Yay. <laughs> we got to get ourselves some food for the place, the restaurant's shut. We've got a long night of travelling ahead of us. <laughs> 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 we managed to find some vegan food. It was a little bit difficult, but uh, we got some pasta. It's actually really nice. I feel like in a bit of a daze. Me. I feel like Me. I have been for like the last week. <laughs> so we wouldn't have been able to surf the internet worry-free on the public Wi-Fi in this airport if it wasn't for Surfshark. So we're really pleased to say that they are sponsoring us again on today's video and we're super happy to be backing a brand that we use and love every single day. The main benefit that we get from Surfshark every day is that it's a digital privacy tool. So it secures our online data, keeping your personal information safe and prevents cyber criminals and bots, hackers stealing your data. So the second and probably most noticeable benefit that we get from Surfshark is being able to swap the real location of our device to a new one. So here's some real life examples of when me and my friends and family have used Surfshark 
Surfshark. I watched my sister compete in a race in another country. My friend, normally works in the US, came over to the UK for a holiday and could continue working with her US system online. Yeah. Where are you working? Dunder Mifflin. Any jobs going? No, not right now. Number three, managed to book my mum a birthday present online using a British website. Because you just need one account and you can use that on unlimited devices. Go check out our link and use our code TRANSIT. You'll get 83% off and three months for free. And Surfshark offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, there's no risk in just trying it out. So it is now midnight, we just had an announcement that our flight has been delayed by 30 minutes, so we'll be leaving at 1. The only slight nervous thing is that we've got a transfer, we fly to Dubai and then in Dubai we have to get to another terminal. It's said to leave at least 2 hours between your flight and we had 2 hours and 5 minutes. Yay! We're finally boarding! Oh, it's really nice. I didn't expect this. Is this business class? <laughs> yeah. Yay. So we've finally made it onto the plane. We have been delayed by like an hour, I think. Um, so our connection is going to be pretty tight. We have to wear masks the whole way, um, but we are on the very back row, and we've got the whole row to ourselves. Back so. seat, baby. I am so excited for this flight. Just woken up, I'm gonna eat this and then go back to sleep. I'm loving my plain meal, it's so nice. We're just coming into Dubai now. I uh, managed to get some sleep on there, which was really good because I was absolutely exhausted. And we have quite a short changeover for our next uh, flight, so we're gonna have to get a little bit of a jog on. And it's daytime now out there. I feel that Dubai heat. It's like, it's really hot. I'm nervous because our flight starts boarding in 10 minutes and we've just literally just got off the plane. We were just rushing out to get our connection flight and then someone pulled us over and said, Kathmandu, Kathmandu. They said, oh, you're too late to get this flight. So you're gonna have to get the next one in two hours because it's a journey to get to Terminal 2. So I'm really glad that we've got an alternative. That's amazing. We're finally boarding. We're so tired, we're a little bit delirious now. Final call for Kathmandu. It was really cold in the airport, but you come outside and it's got to be over 30 degrees and we're in jumpers. <laughs> Woo! I'm perked right up after a little nap and some food and we've been chatting to the guy next to us. He's really lovely. He lives in Kathmandu and he's let us move to the window seat so we can look out for some mountains. Hit us where we're about to be landing. We've arrived into our guest house. Yeah, it's so, so nice. The journey here was about 45 minutes through the city, and it was pretty crazy out there. Horns beeping, motorbikes, um, just Jam crazy packed. life going on. I got, yeah, I've got to admit, I, it was a bit of a culture shock just arriving into Kathmandu and seeing all of that. Like the roads are just so hectic and the shops, everything was so like amazing to just look at. I was mesmerized. So nice to arrive here and we're in the peace 
of our room. We've been warned that we have to close all the windows and stuff, or else the monkeys will get in and start making a mess of the room. Yeah, we haven't mentioned yet, but our hostel is called Monkey Bunky, and we're near the Monkey Temple, so there's literally monkeys running around. Um, but yeah, this place was five pounds a night each. each. So, so, five, so ten pounds a night between us, and it is huge. We've yeah. got a massive double bed, a huge room area, a whole and then bathroom. like a whole bathroom with our own shower and stuff. Wow. Yeah, Nepal. That is. What have we done, Tom? We're in Nepal. I'll be honest. My initial feelings are fear, <laughs> anxiety, and excitement. It's going to be an adventure, it really is. It's going to be a, it's be a real adventure. Um, and dry, yeah, driving through the city, like it was a culture shock, but I was just so pleased to be experiencing something completely brand new. It was really cool. We are thinking we're just going to spend the rest of the evening in here, just get a good night's sleep. We've still got a McDonald's apple pie that I bought in the airport to eat in here. But join us next time to see us explore Kathmandu for the first time. Oh, well, really nice.